only of if a shift makers king makers begin to spit fire as they stormed KBAC and the entire um, royals, stating that the first thing to do right now in order to restore again the dignity of the throne that has been lost a while ago, that the first thing is to make sure the twins are returned to their, uh, uh, their biological parents, my people. This is no longer funny. Yes, because we heard that ever, ever since KBAC came back from seclusion, a lot of things have been unfolding and things are becoming more serious. But to the best of my knowledge, it is beginning to make sense to me that uh, be, with the reactions that KBAC reacted in this, which we are, um, I'm still going to tell you, because as according to what we heard, they said after they made announcement, the shift makers, you know, we all know the shift makers are the ones who, the only people that can say the truth. They don't lie. They are different, so different from the elders. The elders can be bribed, can be bought, but the kingmakers have sworn over their life till they are by that they will never see truth and say it's lie. In other words, they will never see A and say it's B, and they will never see B and say it's C. That anyone, anything they see and tell you, that should be the truth. So, you know, we've heard a lot of times that if you want to hear the truth, you go meet the king makers. But then, uh, the one thing about them is that they don't talk too much. They would rather keep quiet than to talk too much. So, some informations which you might want to get from them, if they now see that the information is uh, could could be brutal or the information could cause damage, they, they wouldn't open their mouth to say anything. So we are hearing now that they have taken the bull by the horn as they stand out to make sure that KBAC seat remains on, on tampered, that KBAC seat regains back its glory because as we all know, that if all these informations are true, KBAC seat no longer has glory. It no longer has honor. Even in the eyes of the spiritual reign, it no longer is not strong anymore. Anymore, Allegedly, they said the throne is shaking because of the things that KBAC has caused for himself because he wants Queen Naomi and wants other women. And the, 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 the destiny is saying only one woman, only one woman, but then, KBS is saying, I don't want one. I want plenty of them. My people, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Life Just Plus. I am here again with another hot and spicy news from the palace of KBS. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. And to my returning subscribers, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Now, the information making around the social media is that the chief makers, the king makers, not the elders, please, so that you can be able to differentiate before between the elders and the king. The king makers have said that working towards restoring Kabiyasi's throne to be like before, to be as strong as before, to be as respected as before, is to start from returning the children to wherever they are coming from. And that is if the information about the children are true, that they are not Kabiyasi's biological children. I don't know how true this is, but that is the rumor we are hearing. So, and we are now hearing another rumor that the, uh, the chief maker said that is the, the root of it, that that is where they will start to tackle it. That by the time the children go back to their biological parents, then they will now start tackling the wives. You understand? So that that is the starting point of the whole thing. Meanwhile, we heard KBAC said it is not going to happen. That these children, he has begun to develop love for these children. He has begin, he has developed fatherly love for them, and he has chosen, he has wished they are his. In fact, he has accepted them that his children. That there is nothing anyone would say about it. That he loves children so much that these ones that he's even seen, he can't let them go, provided they have been welcomed into the palace. So I don't know whether Kabiyesi is really going against the tradition of Odua or whether he is he has, entitled to his own happiness or opinion. 
Yes, because if he's going against the shrine of Odua, meaning maybe the Odua doesn't want him to marry more than one wife. And now he did it because he is the king and there's nothing. In fact, nothing would even happen to him, even if he married 10. It's just that that peace of mind he is looking for in Queen Naomi cannot be found in any other woman, you know. So they said um, the first thing to do is to tackle this from the primary. Yes, to tackle them that you can't be chasing the wives and all of that. Why the children are still there that it will make them not to be responsive to any time they need their attention. They will use these children as excuse and might not want to attend to whatever uh, shrine or set free of freedom ritual they're about to do to them. That she, she might not be free and she's even so tired. So I don't know how they are really going to do about this because we heard Kabiesi said it is not going to happen and um, every, he's entitled to his own happiness like i said he knows what makes him happy and whatever that makes him happy he will do it so if he comes to say that it's these children that makes him happy they make him feel that they feel the vacuum that queen naomi has uh, denied him making you know putting things into the vacuum that he has always only been with uh, Tade Nikawo and he he needs more children and he is not going to let this one go. He's going to be with them just as the way he loves Tade Nikawo. But people are saying, Kabi, you see, it has not gotten to that. This has to do with your throne. It has to do with your existence. It has to do with your, you know, your caliber of person. And you are here saying you don't want to let the kids go that you are going to take care of them, that they are your children, and that is the only thing you know. My people, these two, these two things are, are so different. You know, so I don't know what KBAC is going through or whatever he has passed through that has caused him this. Well, I'll be waiting for your comments. Tell us if KBAC did the right thing or if the gods should uh, grant him his high desires of keeping back these children. Or the shift makers should insist that that uh, tradition is banished, is banishment by punishment. You know, so let's know what KBS is really going to do about this. As he is busy defending anti beauty, defending anti calabash, and defending the children leaving Queen Naomi heartbroken. I don't, I, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't talk about Queen Naomi here because I have nothing to do with her for now, but, you know, uh, there will always be the end to every, every controversies, the end to every criticism, the end to everything. So we are to time see to how this is going to end. Trump's if actually and not forget is going to that all these are alleged they are information, the I'll be right back. To grow, to becoming beautiful princess and priest. My people subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget that all these are alleged information stay online.